Good evening, John. The instructor is waiting for you. Just go straight on through those doors behind me. You can open a door by standing in front of it and press. How are you, John? Let's start with some target practice. Join me on the other side of that door. Okay, first you'll need a gun. I placed a 9mm pistol in the bin. You can open the bin by actioning it. Pick up the gun inside by moving near it. Try it now. Make sure you look at the object you're trying to open. Look down at the drawer and then press the action button. Okay, walk up to the bin and pick up the gun. We have 10 bullets in this gun. The more accurate you're shooting, the higher your score will get. Give it a go. machine gun. Same rules apply. The gun is in the bin. Take it now. This weapon is less accurate unless you use a manual target, but it has a much greater rate of fire. Unlucky. 
That was almost perfect. Okay, let's move on. Okay, and this spin is an assault rifle. With this weapon, you can zoom in and out of your target by squeezing the manual target button. Try it out. Notice that this weapon requires a different caliber of ammunition from the two previous weapons. Same rules apply. Whenever you're ready, John. In this spin, we have a sniper rifle. This will allow you to zoom extremely close to your target, so I'll be expecting a perfect score. You are now carrying all four weapons in your inventory. You can change weapons by using the directional button. Pressing up and down on the directional button will quickly cycle through the weapons you are carrying. Pressing left and right on the directional button will bring up an inventory screen, allowing you to see what items you are carrying. From here you can select what you want by scrolling up and down and then pressing action. Notice you have two inventory screens, one for weapons and one for other items. The directional button will toggle between the two. Try this now. Pressing up and down on the directional button will quickly cycle through the weapons you are carrying. Pressing left and right on the directional button will bring up an inventory screen, allowing you to see what items you are carrying. From here you can select what you want by scrolling up and down and then pressing action. Notice you have two inventory screens, one for weapons and one for other items. The directional button will toggle between the two. Try this now. Good. In the next room we have a shooting gallery. Fours will pop up with either criminals or civilians on them. You will score one point for every bad guy you shoot, but you will lose one point for every civilian you hit. The test is over when you reach a score of 10. In the bin in front of me, you can collect some new ammo. If you run out of ammo, come back here and we'll reset the course in your own time, John. Okay, the test will begin when you step into the green area marked on the floor. That's a respectable time. Okay, let's move on. Okay, John, if you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Thanks. Okay, next up to the obstacle course. Let's see how agile you are. Climb this ladder by walking onto it. At the top, you want to make your way across this beam. Some people find it easier by crawling on their belly. Go prone. Double tap on the crouch button. Well done. Okay, there's a crash mat down there. If you run off the edge of the platform, you will automatically jump. This will help you. You can jump whenever you want by pressing the jump button. Well done. It's sometimes easier to use the auto jump. Good. And again, you have to be running in order to perform the auto jump. If you walk off the edge, you will just fall. Find the ladder and try again. Okay, 
Get across this gap by using the moving platform. Good. Now run down these steps. You'll have to crouch to get under this barrier. To crouch, tap to crouch. Okay. Now jump over this block. This gap is too small to crouch, but you can get under it by going prone. To go prone, double tap on the crouch button. Okay, John, you beat the obstacle course. In your own time, John. John, let's try you out on some human opposition. In the next room, there are five instructors who have taken cover. In this training section, you're going to have to make it to the exit without getting shot. If you get shot, return back to the beginning and we'll reset the course. However, if you shoot any of the instructors, they will be eliminated from the course. Because we're dealing with real people here, John, we'll be using paintball. You'll find a gun and some ammo in this bin. The course begins once you walk through these doors. Congratulations, John. You got all of them. Sometimes you'll encounter insurmountable odds in the line of duty. But being one of the good guys, you can even out the odds by using what I like to call hero time. This will give you faster reflexes in your opponents for a set period of time. Normally, you would earn hero points by doing good deeds. But for the purpose of this test, you'll be given some at the start. When you enter the next room, a group of instructors will attack you. Simply shoot all of them before they shoot you. To trigger hero time, press your hero mode button. You'll stay in this mode until you run out of hero time. You can get some more paintballs from the bin. When you're ready, John, just step through this door. Okay. Three, two, one, go. all of them out. Let's try the next test. Let's test your throwing arm. In this bin you'll find 10 smoke grenades and in the next room you'll find 5 bins. You'll need to throw a grenade into each of those bins. When throwing the grenade, pressing the fire button will pull the pin out of the grenade. Release the fire button will throw the grenade. The longer you leave it between pulling out the pin and releasing the grenade, the further you will throw it. Okay, let's try it. Well done, you passed the test. Okay, let's move on. Okay, John, if you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. Okay, John, running in guns blazing isn't always the best way. Sometimes the more subtle approach works better. The next exercise is to see how quiet you can be. There are two ways for you to move, action 
or stealthy. Pressing your stealth button will toggle between the two modes. Try this now. Pressing your stealth button will toggle between the two modes. Try this now. Good. And again? Good. Now when you're in stealth mode, you make less noise and you're less likely to be seen. Unfortunately, you'll have to move slower to be quiet. If you punch or shoot in stealth mode, you will automatically change to action mode, and your cover will be blown. In the next room, there are various instructors and cameras patrolling and keeping watch. You must get from here to the exit door without being spotted. If you're spotted, return to the start and we'll try it again. Enter the room when you're ready. You can't avoid the camera by staying behind it. If you had a silenced pistol, you could shoot it out. It's important always to scout out the area before you make a move. Duck behind the boxes and sidestep to look around without being spotted. I see you. You've been spotted, John. Come back to the start. Remember, it's sometimes best to observe. If a man is patrolling, watch and learn their route. Okay, in your own time, John. You can't avoid the camera by staying behind it. If you had a silenced pistol, you could shoot it out. It's important always to scout out the area before you make a move. Duck behind the boxes and sidestep to look around without being spotted.
watch out my client laser trip beams ahead if you touch one you'll trip the alarm good okay let's move on Being a police officer, John, if the opportunity arises, it's always better to capture someone alive. In the next room, we've set up a hostage scenario. There are a number of instructors in the next room guarding a couple of hostages. If any of the instructors spot you, they will shoot the hostages and you will fail the test. However, if you are stealthy, it's possible to approach the instructors without being spotted. Then, if they're not aware of you and you're close enough, it's possible to grab one of the instructors by pressing your grab button. This puts you in a good bargaining position to ensure the safe release of the hostages. Here's a useful tip. Not all members of the gang carry the same importance. Always try to grab the leader. His men will look to him for guidance. Grabbing the leader will cause the men to stand down, but it's not over yet. There still is a threat until you cuff them. To cuff these men, pick up the weapons by moving over them. Don't let go of the leader until you've secured the rest of the gang. That just leaves the leader. Normally, pressing the fire button would break his neck, but seeing as this is training, we're not going to let you do that. To cuff and grab a person, press your action button. Excellent! You've secured the release of the hostages without any casualty or putting yourself in danger. Let's move on. The last part of your training requires you to disarm three bombs. In the bin in front of me is a circuit breaking device. Take it now. Okay, now select this device from your inventory. Remember, this isn't a weapon, so it will appear in your item's inventory. Select this now. In the final room, there are three suitcase bombs. As you approach them, you will be shown a code to disarm them. Enter this code into your circuit breaker by pressing the button. One final thing. Once you've entered the first code, you will trigger the timer. You must enter the entire sequence before the timer reaches zero, otherwise, boom. Okay, let's try again. Return to the start and reset the bombs. In your own time, John. Congratulations, John. This concludes your refresher training course. The other door will take you back for a second. Okay, John. If you could put all your weapons into this bin by pressing action on it. And hey, let's be careful out there. Hello, John. You all done? You can run through it again by going through the door behind me. Otherwise, you are free to leave. Have a nice day. Man, you look awful. A little white wine and some food, and then a night at the opera. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I'm Dick Thornburg, reporting live for HEN, the Hollywood Entertainment Network, where show business is your business. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles, and I can see the whole city from atop the Townsend Art Museum. Art patrons, city officials, and various other important L.A. personalities have gathered to witness this occasion. Piet Gruber, the son of the notorious criminal Hans Gruber, has returned to the city where his father met his demise. Piet, however, is here to return a painting recovered from one of his South American expeditions. Gruber maintains that this generous gesture is not a way to clear his family name, but an act of conscious art preservation. Gruber! Well, we're here at the presentation ceremony, which is just about to begin. 
Townsend curator Christoph von Leben is getting ready to speak to this excited crowd. Look at my Lucy. First day on the job, following in her old man's footsteps. Thank you all for joining us today as we return this wonderful work to its rightful place in the Townsend's Art Museum. We've waited a long time to retrieve this piece, and we are so lucky that Mr. Piet Gruber rediscovered the Jacques for his dealings in South America. We let Mr. Gruber do the honors as he unveils the Jacques and hands it over to me as Townsend curator. Okay, Buzz, get some shots of the guests. The more skin, the better, if you know what I mean. Wait a sec. Isn't that the fitness instructor guy over there? Mm, frontier something or another. The guy with Gruber. It is with great pleasure that I give to you the Jacques masterpiece, Lakeside Nymphs. I've been assured by Mr. Von Leben that it will be rehung in its proper place and very well protected. Sure you have. But what about the thief that stole? How were you able to obtain the painting so easily? We are very close to the perpetrator of the crime. I can assure you that the culprit will be brought to justice. What the... What the hell is that? Hey, Buds, are you getting this? Gunshots! Lucy! Uh, everyone remain calm. This is, there's nothing to be alarmed about. And I always thought art was boring. This is Dick Thornburg live, and what started out as a lovely summer day is corrupted into a maelstrom of blood and bullets. Buzz, are you getting this? I am risking my life here. Hey, McLean. You get called in? Not really. I caught it on TV. Well, you know who's still in there? With the camera crew? It's that sleaze reporter. Dick Thornburg. Uh-huh. Well, he's your number one fan, eh, John? Terrific. You better go talk to Al. He's up by the entrance. John McLean, CCPD. Can you tell me what happened? I really don't know. They just started shooting and everyone was running. Any civilians still in there? My husband's still in there. Find my husband! I'll do what I can. When can we go? Real soon. Any idea who's still in there? There's still some cops in there, but they're as good as dead. What about the bad guys? Are they well armed? You go in there. It's suicide. Great. Ma'am, we just need some details from you. What's your name? Uh, oh my god. My name is Claudia Sherman. I'm from the Valley. Are you okay? Are you injured? I was, like, so scared. I thought I was, like, a total goner. Okay, we'll have a medic look after you when you get down the hill. Like, I'm so sure you should really be careful in there. We're professionals, ma'am. We'll catch them. John McLean, CCPD. What's the latest? Well, we've got a multiple hostage scenario in our hands, but no demands as of yet. The robbers have sealed themselves inside the building, so we're not sure what the situation is inside. How many of them are there? No idea. You should go and talk to Captain Al. He's up there. Captain Al is leading this investigation. You should talk to him. John, what the hell are you doing here? Looking for my daughter. Lucy's here? Yes, sir. It was her first assignment. It seems she surprised the robbers. John, we've not heard anything from my people in there. Al, I know my Lucy is alive in there. When the alarm got tripped, seems they panicked. They grabbed a group of hostages and sealed themselves inside. We're cutting through now. So what you got in mind, John? I don't know if being Lucy's father makes it a good thing for you to be here. Look, Al, I'm not leaving. Now, I'm not in uniform, so if I get spotted, I'll just make like I was a guest who got lost. Oh, yeah. You look like a real art lover, McLean. Well, I've always been partial to the odd comic book. Sir, we're in. McLean? Don't try to stop me, Al. I was just going to wish you luck. We'll be on the radio. Good luck, John.
Mark, you there? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm okay. Looks like I'm on my own again. Shit, the cops are breaking in! Oh. survive. I saw them take one of the cops hostage too. A young woman. A young woman, you're sure? Yeah. They took her to the patio area at the far end of the courtyard. Thanks. Look, you wait here. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I wouldn't use the Shit, there's flies. This is great. The best footage we've had in ages. Police massacres, foreign art benefactors. Get out of my face, dick. Look, let's work together on this. Give me an interview and I'll get you into the galleries. I know a way. Where's the rest of your film crew? The... Uh, they got shot. Occupational hazard. Well, what do you say? You couldn't broadcast what I'd say. Over there! Oops. I'd like to stay. He looks important, John. I wonder if I can take him alive.
Okay, fellas, let's all be cool. Put your guns down. Well, you heard him. Now if you move, I'll shoot you. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I, I'm fine, since they didn't touch me. But, but my paintings, they're gone. We'll get them back. Now go and find somewhere to hide. Okay. Yeah, I can look after myself. Oh, this is award-winning stuff. I got a big close-up of the hug, father and daughter. Very touching. Dad, it's not worth it. It's over now. No. This is just the start. What? 